All right, we got the Kirkland olive oils. Which one of these extra virgin olive oils is the best? And I'm gonna compare it to canola oil and to other olive oils, but there's no way for me to know for sure if it's genuine, but I can use some of the data to make a good guess. So let's go ahead and see uh, what we find uh, when we analyze these two olive oils. Here, let's go. Why don't they tell you what's in aisles? Oh so I think this could be the other one. The cheapest. About. This is, let me go for this. Got it. All right, bright and early Monday morning here. All right, so we're gonna transfer 500 microliters. Here, 500 of the, you gotta pipette real slow when you're pipetting oil, of the Kirkland EVOO. Tube labeled K. Alley. They look very similar in color. They pipette similarly in texture. All right, there we go. Now we got extract these. All right, so here's the protocol. In case you're following along, so we need to add now 500 microliters. I've pre-made up 80/20 methanol water, so 80% methanol, 20% water. So we got a nice stock tube of this stuff to use. And so now we're gonna go ahead and just put 500 microliters of that into each tube. All right, and then we're gonna vortex it, shake it up, and spin it out. So there they are. I'm gonna shake them out. Sometimes you can see differences just in the extraction process. So we'll shake these out, and then we're gonna, you can kinda already tell that there's a difference. Vortex them to be sure, really get them mixed good. All right, so now if we look at them again, side by side, I mean, the one on the right looks more yellow. There's none of this kind of like white emulsion separating at the bottom. Um, that's the California olive oil, not the Kirkland. All right, very interesting. We'll spin these out. And after vortexing even more, you can see the California olive oil on the right has a different color. It didn't look like it had a different color to begin with, but it is definitely more yellow. Very nice. Let's go and spin these out. It says to go for five minutes at 15,000 RPM. There we go. The centrifuge, I bet these two look real different. Just by the color going in. Alright, let's see. So we got the Cali. Cali has kind of like an emulsion on top. That's pretty interesting. Alright, let's see. So here they are compared. So yeah, so the Cali on the left now, let's see, has kind of like an emulsion on top, which means it's not as clear. Um, the one on the right is a pretty clean split, very clear on top. So there's definitely some differences going on. There's also a little bit of a gradient difference in the bottom oil remaining. So the goal here is to pull 300 of that top water layer. Try to avoid any of the bottom layer. There we go. It does have a bit of a yellow tinge to it in the Cali one. much clearer in the Kirkland brand. I don't know what that means yet. And then we're gonna add just uh, 450 microliters of water. So 450, just 450 of plain water. I'm gonna get fresh water. I never really trust my water until I get fresh water. And so, 
Got to wait for the milliQ system to come up to 18.2 mega ohms. Give it a quick rinse. All right, that's some good clean water right there. So now we got some clean water, fresh off the tap there. And we're gonna add 450 microliters of the clean water to each tube. And then these we're going to mix and refrigerate for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, they do look pretty similar. I still think I can see the difference. I think the C is on the left. Yep. Edge. All right, it's definitely been long enough. Let's get these out of the fridge. Do they look any different? No. Let's go spit them back out. The centrifuge one more time. We spin these out, same as before. All right, off the fuge for the second time here, and I bet they just look clear. But this kind of pellets out any residual oil that made its way through so we don't clog our instrument. Here we go, sample's ready for analysis. I still think the Cali one has a little bit of a yellow tinge to it, so. On to the Zevo Qtoff, untargeted. Instrument's pretty full. I'm gonna put these in B6 and 7. And we are running the Kirkland brand first. All right. All right, so here's our oil adulteration method. This is the C18 column, formic acid natural, the 15 minute method. Kind of standard uh, data dependent acquisition, so it should be pretty good stuff. It's the same method I use for the Trader Joe's spray oil, so we can compare it to that as well. All right, so we're trying to figure out in this data here on the right, uh, you can see here's the Kirkland EVOO. This is the Cali EVOO from Kirkland, and they look very different. So on first observation, it looks like we do have a lot of the polyphenolics down low, um, but we also have a big difference in the fatty acid profiles up high. So there's something different in these two oils. Then if we look at this, in the middle is this earth balanced soy free. There's basically no olive oil in this product. It's a lot of linoleic acid, it's flaxseed oil in this product. Uh, and then we have the spray olive oil from Trader Joe's right here. And then we have the spray canola oil. And so the region I want to look at first is this area where all the fatty acid glycerol esters are. So these are kind of like the uh, 353, 355, and 357 masses are the ones I'm most interested in. You can see right here. These are kind of vegetable oil, canola oil markers. However, if we go and do some research, so canola oil uh, or vegetable oils uh, are high in oleic acid. So we're going to see these as glycerol oleic acid esters and we look at this little database area here we got here that is going to be the mass right here at 357. If you look at the olive oil fatty acids you can see that oleic acid is the major constituent 55 to 83 uh, percent in olive oil and 55 percent uh, in canola oil. So we're not going to be able to tell the difference using that 357 mass. This is not a good marker uh, of where it's coming from because they both have it in varying levels and that's too difficult. So then we go to the next oil that's on the list and that's the linoleic acid. So if we look at linoleic acid, we have, we have two molecules that have a very similar names. So we have linoleic acid and we have linolenic acid. So linolenic acid and linoleic acid differ by a double bond. So linoleic acid, which is the one that's in flax oil, this is linseed oil, right? This linseed oil, uh, if you look at canola oil, there is linseed oil at about 25% in canola oil. And if you look at, uh, and, and then there's linoleic, there, there's, it can be, I mean, you wanna have low linseed oil olive oil, but it says that up to 21%, at least in this AI Google search, uh, it, there are some that have high in olive oil. So this is not, this is also not the best marker. It, so this linolenic acid, so the linolenic acid has an extra double bond. You can see this extra double bond right here compared to the linoleic acid. I know they have very similar names. So linoleic acid has two double bonds. Linolenic acid has three double bonds. So olive oil is not supposed to have linolenic acid in it. That is super low. It's supposed to be crazy low, like less than 1%. 
However, canola oil can have up to 10% linolenic acid in it. So maybe this linolenic acid glycerol ester, and we're gonna call that at the 353, is a good marker. So then we go back and we look for 353 here, and you can see there is a lot of 353 actually in the canola spray oil. There's none really in the Trader Joe's spray olive oil. There's some in the Earth Balance, there's not much in this Cali EVOO, but that I am seeing a bit of a blip in the Kirkland. So I am not liking that Kirkland blip right there of that 353 peak. So if we go ahead and we look at intensity in this region, try to get a level on these things. So that's how much you can see the intensity number right here. And then we go ahead and do the Cali. And so you can see that it's a pretty deal. Like this has got 115,000 counts. This has a 1.2 million counts. So maybe crudely 10 times more. It, it's approaching 10 times more of this 353 linolinic, not linoleic, linolinic concentration in the Kirkland EVO. So that's the first thing that's making me think that maybe that's a little bit too much linolenic acid uh, in this Kirkland EVO compared to this Cali uh, EVO. So uh, that's my first sign that maybe I, I'm just concerned this little bit of vegetable oil adulteration in this Kirkland EVO. Uh, I'm gonna have to say that I like the Cali EVO first. And, and that's probably the best one uh, based on the fatty acids. So now let's go ahead and look at these uh, polyphenolics. This linolide is a, a marker for really high quality, a high quality oil, uh, olive oil. And um, this is a beneficial substance. And I don't know, this is another really cool marker. And that's at 225. Again, that one seems elevated in the California compared to everything else. Just, I just can't really make a decision based on the polyphenols because even the spray extra virgin olive oil from Trader Joe's is looking pretty high in polyphenols. So the, really the only determining factor uh, that I can do is this, is this ratio of fatty acids when I'm making my decision on which one of these I'm gonna, I'm gonna use and, and just the general color and flavor. And so I'm gonna have to go ahead and continue to point to this Cali extra virgin olive oil from uh, Costco is being a better product than this Kirkland EVOO, uh, mainly because of the, the small amount of concern around the fatty acid composition and potential addition of some vegetable oils or canola oil to uh, this product. And so um, that's the only thing I really just don't like about it. Uh, I do think that the flavor and the polyphenolics are, are a little bit higher, at least look a little bit higher uh, in the Cali. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Maybe I should do a second analysis on this and try to dig in more to some of this untargeted structure. I'm going to send these things through a full untargeted data analysis and see if I can figure out something else. But uh, yeah, first go at it here. This is the just the full profile of these two olive oils. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, rank this Cali Pompanian EVOO from Kirkland is the best olive oil in this uh, matchup competition.